I definitely did not need to press record that fast. What? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, bro. Baby girl, watch how you move. What? I got them vests on my shoes. I am. I'll pop a pill and I lose. What? Eat it up. Look at the diamonds, they eat it up. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new, my name is Shekinah, and today I'm going to be filming a Army Reserve Q&A kind of sit down video. I got a lot of questions on my I'm joining the Army Reserve video, and honestly I didn't know most of the answers to them because I was just coming into the Army, you know, didn't know those things. So now that I've gone through basic and AIT, and I'm at my unit, I can kind of like answer a little bit to those questions. So I'm going to pick a few questions from the comments and we're just going to get this started. So we're just going to scroll, scroll, scroll through and pick one. Okay, so the first question is, how is everything going now and do you go to AIT right after boot camp? Yes, after basic training you go straight to AIT, which stands for your advanced individual training, which is where you will learn your MOS and basically what you have to do for your job in your unit. The next question is, would FAFSA be affected with my military income and tuition assistance? No! Actually, should I be doing this? Not so much your military income, you'll still be getting paid what you get paid now, but with tuition assistance, because the Army is paying most of your, you know, tuition, you won't be getting as much, but you really won't need as much because the Army's paying for it, you know what I mean? question is do you regret joining the army no I do not regret joining the army I do regret joining the army reserves I feel like I definitely should have went National Guard because of all the benefits and you know with the army reserve a big misconception is that they pay for all of your school they only pay for a certain percentage okay so you only get a certain amount of money towards school National Guard will pay for everything so I definitely then that's one of the main reasons why I joined to pay for school and I didn't do enough research, and here I am. I like it, but I definitely wish I would have went guard. The next question is, can I be in college in the reserve, or do I have to wait till after I finish with the reserve? You can definitely go to school and still be in the reserve. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going back in the fall, because you're really only working one time a month, or one weekend a month, and then your two weeks of drill, which mine is actually three weeks, but you know, it's fine. So. Yeah, you can you can definitely do that because you'll have time. You can pick up a second job, go to school. You'll have time. You can definitely go to school in the reserve. Okay. This next question is, what if you want to do more than just one weekend out of the month or two weeks out of the whole year? Because I would like to do more, but I don't know if that's allowed because I still want to go to college. I definitely know what you're talking about. After getting out of basic training in AIT and seeing the pay decrease, because that active pay, y'all, that active pay was something else. Not something else, but you know, it was much better than reserve pay. I definitely thought about going active, but I decided since I'm still in school and school is my main priority, I talked to someone about doing a couple tours, which basically is like you can go you can go active for a couple months or a month doing your job, your MOS, at an army base or somewhere in a different country, and you can pick where you want to go. So definitely talk to someone about doing a couple tours, look it up, do your research. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do next summer anyway, so... How was your experience in basic training? Well, um, basic training was, it was fun and it was probably the worst time of my life, you know, definitely embrace the suck. I kept calling it summer camp because I was just trying to have like, I was trying to have fun, okay? I was trying to make the most out of it. So if you want me to make a whole separate video about my Fort Jackson basic training experience, I can definitely do that. Maybe get some of my battle buddies in it because we had a good time. We definitely had a good time. Alright y'all, I thought I'd keep this short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below. Or like, if you want me to do a part two with more questions in depth with the reserve, you can leave those down below. Um, definitely want to film more army videos, maybe. If you want to see more videos from me, just leave them down below. Leave your request down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, tell me what you want to see in the comments. I think I've said that 12 times. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's all. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.